Hey guys, I am back with another haul and it feels like I haven't done a haul in a while but I think I finally have enough items to do a haul video for you guys um, and uh, quite a few of these items have been sent to me but as you know I am saving up so I'm trying not to buy too much um, but these items are all items that I've chosen myself so they I would have bought them anyway. So the first few items are from runway.com and you may have seen a couple of these already if you've watched my previous outfit of the day videos or if you follow me on Instagram. I just chose blouses from runway this time because I just thought well you can't go wrong with blouses and I do need more. And the first this one is this floral blouse and it's really really pretty it has floral on the sleeves and on the side of the blouse as well and it's just a button up and it's got some floral at the back as well and I think this is really really pretty it's actually perfect for spring as well the next one I think I might have thought the color was different um, when looking at looking at it on the website um, it's just this blouse here but it's actually not a color that really complements me. Um, you probably, I don't know if you can tell um, in the video, but it's quite a sort of dull mocha kind of color. I really like the sleeves. They're actually sort of like this meshy sheer kind of fabric. And the reason why I got it in the first place because I just thought that it's a good basic blouse to have and I can wear it to work. But I just, I'm not sure if the color works on me. This next blouse is a bit out there. It does have a bold print and it's a purple blouse. It's quite long as well and I do like long blouses as well because it means that I can wear it with leggings and I have really enjoyed wearing long blouses with like leather look leggings. Um, I just think it's so easy to throw on and you still look decent. This next one some of you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram. Please do follow me if you don't already but this is really really cute. It's got like that um what is it? They're diamonds, hearts, and clubs, and spades. Is there a spade? Yeah, and spades. So it's just a really cute print, and again, it's a long blouse and will look really good with leggings if you wanted to wear leggings as pants. So that's that. And I am so bright all of a sudden. I'm just going to apologize in advance if um, I go dark and light. It's just. The bloody sun keeps moving in and out of the clouds and I cannot control that. But you shouldn't be looking at my face anyway, you should be looking at the clothes so that it doesn't matter. The next few items are from SheInside.com and I actually really, really like their clothes. I haven't hauled their clothes before. They did send me a few items and you may have seen this jacket already if you've watched my um, outfit of the day featuring this jacket. I really, really love it. It's more of a structured kind of camo piece. Um, there's heaps of like camo shirts and um, just button button up shirts but this one is more of a structured jacket which I like and that's what it looks like at the back. It's also got um, the jewel detailing on the pocket as well and yeah I just really like to dress um, more sort of military hard pieces with girly pieces. The next item I chose is a winter jacket and I'm really lacking in like the warm winter jackets department and yes it is summer here in Australia but you know it doesn't hurt to prepare for what's to come so I got this jacket here and it's like really really bulky. So it's got this lining here which is really really warm. It's a really bulky thick winter jacket just perfect to throw on over whatever you're wearing and it's got like this fur hoodie as well and I'm actually planning to film a really like mini lookbook featuring this jacket like how to style this jacket I think it's a good staple piece to have in winter and the last item from she inside is this checkered it's not a blouse when I got when I saw it on the website I actually thought it was a blouse but it's more like a kind of jacket because it's got like this lining which I really really love because it will be so warm to wear in winter and it's like quite thick it's got the little um, fur sleeves is that fur? is that classified as fur? I don't know um, cuffed sleeves and yeah it's just really really warm I love checkers and plaids for some reason um, I think that they're a great way to spice up your outfit so yeah 
Actually, there's one more item that I chose from Shein side and I really, really love this. This is a knit and it looks like that and it, what I love about it is obviously the color. So yeah, that is so cute and the color like burgundy does look, I think that burgundy looks good on me because um, I have dark hair. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to wearing this. I think this is super cute and it has an exposed zipper at the back. Now I also bought a couple of things from eBay and I have been looking for a cropped denim vest for a while now and I haven't liked what I've seen in store or everything in store is studded and don't get me wrong, I love studs, I'm wearing studs today but I just wanted one that is going to last me like forever. I went on eBay and I just searched like denim vest and I found this and I really really like it. It's um just a very basic cropped denim vest but what I love about it is that it's got distressed sort of frayed um, sleeves uh, or opening really struggling to describe clothes today maybe because I haven't done a haul in a while but yeah so it's got little distressed detailing on the collar as well and at the back um, so yeah I think that is super cute also from eBay from a different seller I bought this blazer and this is I'm not gonna lie a bit of a dis disappointment first of all it's a little too big for me um, it is really crinkled by the way so it obviously doesn't look as good as it could look um, what I do like about it is that it's got like the faux leather patch um, elbows but just the quality of it is really crap like can you believe they're fake button holes oh, well you're supposed to open them yourself or something so or maybe that it's just fake, maybe you're not meant to, I don't know, but I mean the lining is really cute and stuff, but it just, it's, it's not as structured as I would want it to be, but you know, who knows, maybe I can make it work, I could probably make it work if I rolled up the sleeves, but yeah, so I got that from eBay as well. Now these next two items you would probably recognize if you follow me on Instagram, and I've been obsessed with wearing these, if I was to ever do like like monthly favorites videos this would definitely be my favorites because I've just been wearing it all the time it's just this jersey maxi dress um, from cotton on and it's just yeah it goes all the way down nothing special no like special detailing or anything but it is just so easy to wear and I bought two of them for forty dollars from cotton on the other one is actually prettier this is the one that you've probably seen on Instagram and it's this gorgeous sort of burgundy striped version um, and yeah it's just I love it because it's so comfortable it's so easy to wear if I don't know if I don't know what to wear or I can't be bothered thinking about what to wear then I just throw this on with a belt and like you know you look decent so I think this would be like a perfect lazy day outfit or like Sunday Sunday lazy Sunday kind of outfit. The thing is, the length is perfect on me, and I got this in a double extra small, and I'm usually not that size. Um, but this fit perfect on me, lengthwise as well. I didn't need to take it up or anything like that, and it's just perfect. So, love, 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 love these dresses. Now, I also jumped onto the petite section of ASOS because I've never actually shopped from that. Uh, section before which is really strange because I would fall in that category I'm very short as most of you would know I'm 156 centimeters uh, which makes buying bottoms or pants um, hard so I decided to give the petite section a go and I wanted to buy some pants for work so I got these pants here and they're just like really basic pants and unfortunately they're still a tad tad long I could get away with it but um, I don't know if I maybe I'll just like fold up the pants and um, wear them as sort of like pegged trousers trousers now my last clothing item you may have seen before if you have watched either my behind the scenes from the engagement shoot or my Valentine's Day lookbook and I will link um, both of those for you um, here and basically I needed to look for a dress to wear for my engagement shoot and I had I had something really specific in mind I knew that I wanted to wear a really girly floral dress 
but I didn't have a really girly floral dress in my wardrobe so I had to go shopping for one however because it's an engagement shoot I didn't want to wear really bold bright colors or neon or anything like that I just wanted a normal floral dress in like sort of muted or pastel -y or light colors um, and I came across this dress and this was from Quirky Circus in Maya and the retail price is actually really expensive it's $80 but luckily it was 30% off dresses that day so I got it for 30% off I traditionally wouldn't even spend that much on a dress like this even with a 30% off but I was desperate to find a dress for the shoot so I bought this and I'm glad I did because it's one of those pieces that you like will never go out of fashion now onto some miscellaneous items I bought this necklace and once again you may have seen it before if you've seen my outfit of the day featuring the camo jacket because I wore this skull necklace oh that reminds me I haven't worn a necklace today yet might wear this one um, and I got this from Sports Girl and I think it was $9.95 and then further reduced. I don't remember off the top of my head but it's just I loved it instantly even though I'm not even into skulls. I really really liked this. And I also got just a basic pair of cross earrings and these are just a really basic pair of cross earrings. They are $4.95 and I'm pretty sure they were further reduced. I love sports girl accessories when they're on sale because they're really cheap when they're on sale. Now, when I had my engagement shoot, I went to the benefit counter to get my makeup done because I wasn't confident that I could do my own makeup properly for a photo shoot. So I went there and in return for your makeup being done, you need to choose two items with a minimum value of $50 in total. So. I took that opportunity, well basically I chose Benefit because I wanted their products so I took that opportunity to snap up some Benefit items because I wouldn't usually be able to justify spending that much because it is really expensive here. So I chose their Real Mascara. It is really good. I really really like this. This is like $38 so expensive. I don't know how much it is in the US. Usually everything is double the price here but I really really like this and um, I wear it on top of a just a base waterproof mascara that I put on first because because my lashes are so short and basically non-existent. I find that I need to put a really really dry base on first before any mascara kind of works on me and it um, yeah it really does uh, volumize your lash. And then the next thing I got was this Coralista um, blush and I love this color. I am wearing it but you probably, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh it's so pretty. It's like this coral pinky color. You, I mean everyone's seen it already but I finally got my hands on it and I'm glad that I had an excuse to get it. But yeah, really, really, really pretty. Those two are my first benefit products like ever because it's just so expensive here. But I really, really do love their products. Oh, and this was $50. $50 for a blush. Also, I jumped onto eBay and bought my favorite oil control film in bulk because um, I, when I buy it here, I usually spend like $5 a packet on an equivalent. And so I just got all these clean and clear um, oil control films. I got 10, a pack of 10, well I got 10 for $25, so much better than spending $5 each. So yeah, I can't live without these. These are so good. I don't like oil blotting paper. I feel like oil blotting paper doesn't do anything for me. It needs to be oil control film. And Phil likes to use these too. And he might not like that I've just said that, but he doesn't watch my whole videos anyway because he says I talk too much. Which I probably do, but you know, girls like to talk. And finally, I bought myself some hot rollers. So I got this set here, and this is the Vital Soon. I'll show you the box so you can see. Came in that, and it's a really sad story actually because I asked for hot rollers for Christmas and I love It's Judy time and I love her hair and I wanted exactly her hair. So I wanted exactly her rollers but they're Con Air and they're from America. So um, I, se I sent a link from eBay to Phil and said um, can I have these hot rollers and he got them for me but <sighs> the voltage here is too high to use them. So 
I can't use them. And I tried to go down the route of getting a voltage converter, but they're like a hundred dollars. So obviously it's not worth it for me to get a voltage converter. So I had to buy myself a new set of hot rollers um, to replace my Christmas present. I thought that was really sad. I was really sad anyway. Anyway, so I got these and they're a set of 12 and they're like jumbo sized. I think they're 38 millimeters and I didn't want anything smaller than that, which is why I didn't invest in like the fabulous, the really big set with all the different sizes. I just wanted big size rollers because I just want a tussled sort of wavy look and I am wearing it. I mean, I am, I have used it today. So this is the kind of look um, that you would achieve with these hot rollers and yeah, I'm still getting used to it, but I really like it so far. I like how natural it is. I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't been wearing my hair straight lately and that is because I don't have too many layers in it anymore. So I feel like it does look quite boring when I wear it straight, but then I don't want to cut it because I'm getting married and blah, 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 blah. So that's why I have been wearing my hair wavy and whatnot. And yeah, so that concludes my haul. I don't feel like I had that many items, but I feel like this video is really long. But I enjoy talking to you guys anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video and follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you're not already. Um, also subscribe to my blog, which is lovechicstyling.com and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.